After taking a temporary retirement in 2001, country music icon Garth Brooks returns 13 years later with his new album, Man Against Machine, and Mechanical Force Brooks' fighting could be Apple. The country singer's hiatus ended Monday as he released Man Against Machine on a self-funded platform called Ghost Tunes. The service is a direct competitor of Apple's iTunes, which dominates the realm of digital music sales. However, Garth's Ghost Tune strives to upend the middleman by allowing artists of all genres to determine what they sell on the site and for what price. We are more than a purchase platform. We provide an experience with the artists you love. Purchase music can be downloaded and streamed from a personal locker at any time. It also allows artists to bundle ticket sales with albums for discounted prices. Ghost Tunes takes a 20% cut of sales, which is less than its competitors. The site launched its beta version in September, but now it's live and adding new features every week. Man Against Machine is available solely on Ghost Tunes today, along with all of Brooks' other music, meaning his fan base can't buy any of his albums on iTunes or stream them on Spotify, which could give fans a compelling reason to at least sign up for the service. When Brooks announced a temporary retirement in 2001, CD sales were still at the top of their game. And iTunes was a vacant lot waiting for more artists to join. Brooks admits things have changed in the past decade. In an interview, he told USA Today he didn't expect all the rules to change. So after meeting with other purchase platforms, Brooks adapted to the new environment by creating Ghost Tunes. The service already represents not only Brooks, but also 10 million songs, thousands of artists, three major record labels, and a handful of independents. Brooks isn't the first to distance himself from iTunes for years. Sites like Topspin Media, Bandcamp, and eMusic have put the power of selling into the artist's hands. But the Wall Street Journal warns Brooks' power play might have launched too late. Mr. Brooks' move shrinks the already small list of major acts that don't sell digital downloads. The Beatles, Led Zeppelin, ACDC, and Bob Seger all have relented in recent years. As Ghost Tunes begins to roll out, Brooks' comeback will likely overshadow the service for now. His new world tour has already sold more than a million tickets for shows in eight U.S. cities. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrus.